All right, guys, it's the start of new drive review season. We're kicking things off with the brand new Callaway AI Smoke Paradigm Driver, claiming to be one of the most forgiving drivers Callaway have ever made. This driver has the capabilities of hitting my longest shot this year. So as you can see in this bag are the new Callaway Paradigm AI Smoke Driver. It's quite a cool name actually. I've got three, there's actually four in the lineup. I'll come to the fourth in a moment. In this review, I've already tested these drivers out on the golf course. I can't wait to share what I found out on the course before hitting them here in the Hit Studio and get some data on the launch monitor. So the big story about these drivers is they are sweeter from every spot. So let's have a look under the head covers. These are the three drivers I've got in the bag at the moment. So we've got a max version, which is actually the standard version. This has got a movable weight at the back, which you can put more into draw, more into fade. This is the driver that's gonna be suited to the majority of golfers. Then you've got the Max D. This driver is again for maximum forgiveness, but it's more of a draw bias driver to help those slices out there. And then finally, there's a triple diamond edition, low spin monster for your better players who really hit the middle of the club face. In this review, I test all of the three drivers. The other driver is a Max Fast, which again is designed for maximum forgiveness, but it's a lighter shaft, lighter grip, aim really for a slower swing speed. So I've not got that driver to review. So what's the story? What's new? Well, there's three main points. First off, all about the club face. They've used AI technology again to create the smartest club face ever made using real player data. They've measured thousands of golf swings, they've measured club head speed, strike location, also the actual angle of the face as it comes in, in to hit the ball. And with all of that data, they've managed to create an AI smart face, which is to optimize launch conditions and ball flights for every type of golfer. That's quite exciting. Okay, for this next one, I'm actually gonna read it because it's uh, somewhat confusing, but the premise is to make it more forgiving. So they're using micro deflections to create multiple sweet spots. So with AI smart face technology, micro deflections are activated upon impact, helping to optimize launch and spin, and this is the important bit, on off-centered hits to result in sweet spots, not just in the center, but all across the face. So basically it's more forgiving. That's, that's the big, big story that this driving face is creating more forgiveness. And then the last bit, they've created a lighter carbon chassis, 15% lighter, distributed that weight around, again, to help with that forgiveness story, to help with speed aerodynamics, just to make it the best new Callaway driver they've ever made. Let's see if that's actually the case. Price-wise, they're coming in this year at 569 pounds per driver. Pretty pricey, but a lot of drivers are in that kind of price range now um, of kind of 500, 600 pounds. It's not the most expensive driver being released this year. Wait for that review coming soon. All right, guys, it's giveaway time. I'm gonna give away a brand new Callaway AI smoke driver to one of you guys watching. All you've got to do is leave a like and a comment on this video and subscribe to the channel. And one lucky winner will be picked to win an AI smoke driver of their choice. Good luck, everyone, and enjoy the rest of the video. So that's all the spiel done, but how are these drivers actually performing? Well, on a recent trip, I took these drivers away with me and tested them thoroughly. First off, on the driving range with some initial hitting of all three models. And I really want to look for looks, sound, feel. I didn't have any launch ones today, so we're going to do that here in the studio. First off, looks. I genuinely think these drivers are stunning. I remember when I first, first saw them, I was like, I really like the finish of this driver. Certainly this kind of mockled, almost marble effect on the chassis underneath, on the carbon underneath looks really, really, really good. I like the colorway. I like this kind of darker gray, the blue. It's very classy. I actually really like it. On the crown, we've got this really, almost kind of um, infinity-esque crown where it almost just drips and feeds over every single edge 
rounded kind of toe, back and heel um, of this kind of carbon crown. It is a shiny carbon crown. It's a little bit kind of shiny when it's in the sun, but still looks really good. And I love this contrast between that front edge as well. Feel wise and sound wise, they're linked quite closely together. The sound of these drivers this year is phenomenal. It's a real crunch. Like when you hit it, it's such a satisfying sound. In fact, it reminds me of one of my favorite ever Callaway drivers, the original Epic driver. It sounds and feels very similar to that. A real crunch, a real good hit, real solid kind of, you know when you've made good connection. Just on initial hits, even on off-centered strikes, I definitely felt like there was still very, very strong performance. In the Max model, and the Max D model, which is that draw bias driver, I promise you, I don't think I've ever hit shots more left in my life, which is a good thing if you slice it. That driver, that D Max D, really made the ball go more left. The Triple Diamond is a monster. I, I'm excited to test it on launch monitor today because when I was hitting that, I felt like every single driver was going miles down the, down the driving range. The next thing I did, I want to take these drivers out on the golf course, just in a bit more of a real scenario. So again, I tested all three drivers and it was quite interesting actually. The one I personally was more gravitating towards was the max driver head. It gave me the most level of forgiveness and very strong distance. Triple diamond is definitely longer. There's no question about it. I hit a few driver shots out on the golf course and I would say just on in the golf course scenario, probably 10 yards, maybe even 15 yards further. I can't wait to see if that transpires on the launch monitor as well. The other thing with the triple diamond, off centered hits, if you didn't quite strike it right, there was definitely a drop off in performance. So even though the big story this year is forgiveness, in that triple diamond one, again, that's more for your elite player, your better player. And also with the triple diamond, you've got two movable weights, a two gram weight and a 14 gram weight. If you put the 14 gram weight more towards the front, it's a low spin monster. Put it at the back, it gives a little bit more forgiveness, but not loads. That's the only real adjustability with the triple diamond. So I've done the initial hitting out on the golf course testing, but now is the real test. On the GC Quad launch monster here in the Hit Studio, what do the numbers look like for these three drivers? Well, I'm excited to find out myself. Um, just a quick note, I'm putting all of the driver heads in nine degrees, standard, neutral, um, and I've got them all in exactly the same shaft. This is the, the, the gnarly 60 gram X-Flex shaft. So it's gonna be a real good head-to-head. -head. Uh, just a quick side note, more head-to-heads. This against maybe other future drivers that might be coming out in the next few weeks will all be coming out on the HIT channel soon. I know there's not been many videos on there recently. They'll be coming again in 2024. So let's kick things off. Let's see what the uh, AI smoke. This is the Max head has to offer. Okay, so that's the Max driver done. Some very interesting shots in there. Let's move over to the Max D next. So that's one I honestly think, if you're a slicer, this might really interest you this next one. Okay, so that, one, that one's an extreme one. <laughs> that might have been me drawing it slash hooking it and then with this driver. But I, I swear on the golf course when I was testing it, it was going so far left. Right, let's uh, let's see if we can hit some better ones than that. Okay, as you can see there from the first few shots, very very left. I'm gonna. Let's try and slice this one because obviously I, I hit it a little bit left anyway. Now it's just going so far left. Let's see if I can purposely a big slice and see what happens with this driver.
that in my feelings then, that should have sliced way off to the right. And even that's finished left of target line. Funny because visually you can't see how it's doing it. Magic inside the AI smoke. All right, ladies and gentlemen, hold on to your hats because triple diamond time. And I'm going to be brave. There's two weights in this that I mentioned before, a 14 gram and a two gram weight. I've put the 14 gram at the front, the lowest spin setting. Still in nine degrees loft. Um, I think this has got possibilities of hitting one of the longest drives I hit this year but I could also potentially miss the simulator screen. Maybe not that bad, but either way. Um, on this head shape, it is different head shape. The, the Max and the Max D are so similar, it's hard to even distinguish between the two. This head shape is slightly smaller. It's 450cc, just a little bit smaller, just a little bit more compact around the edge as well. It's deeper face and just a little bit less from front to back. Um, I think a lot of very, very good players will put this in the bag because I actually really think this could be a... Uh, hard to beat driver this year for distance. That's my prediction. Let's see actually what the numbers look like. Let's go weight forward, same shaft, triple diamond AI smoke. Oh, I didn't quite catch it. Oh, that's annoying. That might still go a long way. I did not hit that well, and that's still done very, very good. Right, let's hit a few more. Oh, <laughs> I'm enjoying hitting that. Okay, last shot. This driver has the capabilities of hitting my longest shot this year. Let's see what it can do. Come on. Oh, that could be huge. Go ball. Oh, <laughs> bloody hell. Okay, finally the numbers. Uh, in. I've been, you know, I really enjoy testing these drivers this year. I do think the Paradigm AI Smoke lineup is very, very solid. Uh, but numbers wise, let's look into it. Starting off with Max. Now, if you've been a long time viewer of the channel, you know that my normal carry distance is around about 280 yards of carry, 160 miles per hour ball speed there and thereabouts, and around about 2,000 to 2,500 RPM spin. So I want to always match that, if not better. The max driver, the first thing to look at is carry distance, 283 yards, solid. 305 yards of total distance, 2,200 spin, almost perfect. What's intriguing there, I'm actually a little bit low on ball speed, and to be fair, club head speed, pretty much all through this testing, my club head speed was averaging 108 miles per hour, an objective to mine to increase that this year, 108 miles per hour. So to get those numbers, from 108 miles per hour club head speed, I am delighted with, I really am. Moving into the Max D, you pretty much saw me in the shot that hit. It goes so far left, it really does. But what's interesting, it doesn't look it behind the balls I mentioned, but still very strong numbers. 275 carry distance, a little bit more spin, uh, a little bit down on ball speed, but probably because I tried to hit a big slice. But definitely, if you want to hit it left, that's one to explore. And then the triple diamond. I was so excited about bringing this into the studio today because I honestly saw on the golf course it went further than these other two drivers. Did we see those numbers in the studio? Yes. Maybe not as big a jump as I expected to see, but carried it to 187 yards, so four yards longer, and 309 yards, again, four yards longer. On the golf course, I did see signs it went longer, and you saw even the last shot I hit there went 320 yards total distance. So if I hit that compared to an average max, well then yeah, it's gone 15 yards further. Spin rate, pretty much exactly the same, 2,200. Ball speed a tiny bit faster with AI Smoke Triple Diamond. Callaway, good job, solid driver lineup. 570 quid, I mean the price, they really are. Are they much different to the last year's paradigm? Probably not, but very, very strong driver lineup. Guys, thanks for watching, stay tuned, lots more to come. See you next time. P.S. If you like my heart, check it out, rickshields.com.